Hey builders, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new BuildShip AI Assistant Builder to tap into OpenAI's document retrieval tool. This allows you to not only tap into the enormous knowledge base that OpenAI's LLMs have been trained upon, but also allow it to answer questions based on the data that you provided and the documents that you have on hand. If you haven't already watched our initial video on setting up BuildShip's AI Assistant Builder, I'd start there. But if you're familiar with the process, Let's get started. Let's open up BuildShip and go straight to the template section. For this example, we're going to use the assistant with retrieval template. This template will allow us to chat with our custom assistant, but in addition, we're able to give it some additional context in the form of uploaded files. There are some limitations here. Files can't be any more than 512 megabytes and around 2 million tokens. So keep that in mind when you're building this assistant. There's a couple of setup items here. Firstly, we need to upload the files that we want to give our assistant the context for into OpenAI. In this example, we're going to use a summary report called Augmenting Human Intellect, a conceptual framework. This is something that ChatGPT may or may not already know about, but we'll be directly instructing it to use this context. The first thing we need to do is go to platform.openai.com and go to Assistant Playground. We're going to create a new assistant. Let's give it a friendly name. This is just for us to see. In the instruction section, I'm going to paste in the instructions that come from the build chip documentation. This is telling our assistant how we want it to behave, how we want it to respond, and what specific insights we need to gain from it. We're also saying, crucially, that it must provide references from the materials it has access to. For the model, we'll choose ChatGPT or Turbo Preview, and we'll enable retrieval. Now, we just need to upload the file that we want to hear it. Great. Now, before we head back to BuildShip, we're going to test this out to make sure it behaves the way we want and also that it references where it got its information from. Test, and we'll start with a question. This is great. It's reviewed the document and it's giving citations exactly where we've asked it. Fantastic. So now we're going to copy the assistant ID and head back to BuildShip. We'll put the assistant ID in here and make sure we've got document retrieval turned on in built-in tools. To test this out, we hit the test button and we write a message in JSON format, just like this message and the question that we want to ask it. Great. We've got a very similar response back with citations and the file it's referencing. Now, if you want to come back on this conversation at a later stage and continue the conversation where you left off, you'll feed this thread ID back in with the body. And there's a great example of how to do that in the build ship documentation. This is just a basic example of how you can give context to your custom assistant. Think about all the documents you have in your home or business. Menus, policy documents, periodicals, newspaper clippings. There's any number of use cases where you can give a custom assistant access to your proprietary data and chat with that data in a really simple way. This method ensures that your assistant replies based on the provided data, not a data point that's far outside your control. In our next tutorial, we'll talk about how we can use a custom assistant on a website, either as a Q&A chatbot or as an API. There's an excellent open source AI chatbot widget that we've built just for you, allowing you to follow up with conversations and connect to an even wider array of services, all within BuildShip. I hope you'll join us on our custom assistant journey. Let us know in the comments what you're building or join our community on Discord. Until then, happy build shipping.